like anti like he yeah. don't play that yeah so he was like you want to i think he said do you want to die sit or something like that you want me to choke you i'm gonna choke you i don't know he went extreme with this shit so he was already upset so by the time they came and he was drinking gin so when he asked him that one question that Blue. why would you even ask him that yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk how did y'all end up getting banned from no jumper oh when he got when he drank too much uh gin <laughs> <laughs> and the, and um why would they ask him that question though it's like why would you ask somebody about their enemies like it's like why would you ask, you know how he, he has it on his forehead yeah and why would you him. even spe- specifically ask about that one person and that's what made him go off yeah so why would like it's not really c max fault he was already upset because i know kazumi had asked him if she could like lick his butt or something whoa yeah there was something between those like like going near his butt and he you know he's like anti like he don't play that yeah so he was like you want to i think he said do you want to die sit or something like that you want me to choke you i'm gonna choke him i don't know he went extreme with this shit so he was already upset so by the time they came and he was drinking gin so when he asked him that one question that Blue. why would you even ask him that wow you know he he's one of those guys man that he don't he's, sugarcoat he's, he don't shit. sugarcoat nothing and he gonna be around man he's yeah. a known figure public figure around the world behind all of these different yeah. situations not just the podcast but just all the different people i got a cousin he loves c-mac that's all he's like man you gotta watch him man i was oh, like yeah. i never would watch it he kept like kept calling me mm-hmm. like you gotta watch him or we get on a call he'd be like you gotta watch c-mac i'm like man one day i'm gonna and so then you know a lot of times he got into it with charleston once they got into it that was oh, another yeah. whole deal it was like wow you had to see him you couldn't miss him he did a good. He did a good video about me, Charleston White. He did. What did he say? He said, "You need to uh, get your Lupe. You need to get you a Lupe." The, and then he called this. He's like, "I got me a Lupe." <laughs> he calls his wife. He's like, "He's like Lupe." And then she starts laughing. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's like, because he, he, he says like, I hold him down. He's I was there to take him to the DP. I picked him up and all. Like he like, and you know he talks bad about people. Yeah, yeah. He was talking. I was like, what? <laughs> he yeah. talked good about yeah, you Yeah For like Three four minutes straight So what happened with, Did you see when he sprayed the uh, uh, Allegedly sprayed uh, uh, Soldier, uh, Soldier Boy. Boy Yeah cause he's He be talking He's like Whack 100 They talk too much shit <laughs> they, Like they be trying to get to Whack But he's never at home bro they know where he live. Yes, I remember telling you. I know you're saying that, but they, I thought then he he had to move. If he, yeah, well, wherever he, he can, you know, they're gonna find out where he lives. He he's like a known person. People know who like they'll probably follow me. Know he got friends that might leak his information. You don't ever know. Never know. Yeah, you don't, you don't, it's always the people that's close to you that be fucking you over with no Vaseline. Wow. So he got it's, it's never no strangers. So remember, there's it's never no strangers. Yeah, that's why you gotta be careful who you let close in your circle. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful. What they so, call them, the moles? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody got one of them motherfuckers, bro. So. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.